Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Third time's the charm. Uh, I admit this is my third time trying to record this. I've had multiple errors, which is lovely. Not the mod's fault, completely mine. Um, this is Homefront, created by the same people who created Sins of the Prophets um, for Sins of the Solar Empire Rebellion. And this is a Halo mod, Spaceborne Combat. Right, let's get straight into it, shall we? Now, all this is fine. You're in a C versus Covenant. I'm playing as the Covenant. I'll explain it to you as we're loading up, just to shorten the time. Right. So essentially what happened was I did kind of a stupid thing. And yeah. Um, as you know, I'd lost the last two ones as a UNSC, so I'm hoping this time I can use the ridiculously overpowered nature of the Covenant in the lore, and hopefully it translates into this. So yes. Covenant versus UNSC. In the lore, Covenant are ridiculously overpowered. The UNSC needs something like three to one. Usually, I think it is, to beat a single Covenant ship. It never specifies what type of Covenant ship. I imagine it's probably the battle cruisers. As you can see, the um, textures haven't been done for these. Well, the textures have, but the, the models haven't been done. These are the Higaran, I believe. Resource collectors and refinery. Right. CSO class. These are the sort of ones you see in the games, I believe, or maybe you see the CAS. This is basically a supercarrier with most of its weapons taken off, because to give the Covenant something that powerful right at the beginning is just not fair for the UNSC player. Or, you know, whatever really. Gonna get some Seraph Scouts, some Banshees, and some Seraphs. Normal Seraphs, I should say. Seraphs? Seraph. I don't know how it's said. Something along those lines. I think it's Seraph. Let's give the music a bit of a mix up, shall we? So, yeah, uh, Homefront, I believe, is one of those mods that are getting ported over to the uh, remastered version. I hope, because it would look absolutely stunning in the remastered version. And you know, in terms of polish, this is one of the few non-Phoenix Interactive mods other than stuff like maybe Star Trek Continuum that I've seen so far, which have really, you know, they've got the polish down in terms of the lore and everything else. It's all there. I really do like the look of the super carriers. It's a shame about the one bat tail at the end, but you know, everything else is pretty cool actually. Let's see, what map was I? I think I picked Jupiter. Yep, I definitely picked Jupiter. <laughs> I'm afraid this part is kind of the waiting game, ladies and gents. <coughs> Apologies. Because there's not much else I can really do other than wait for it. It's kind of like the Star Trek Continuum games. Slightly boring in that I'm trying to show you all the all the craft we've got and all that jazz. But unfortunately, I can't show it to you until you know I pump it out. So I'm going to build a CSO class, which is another mothership, um, so I can have two production facilities pumping out because the UNSC gets um, well facilities. It gets um, gantries and shipbuilding yards, whereas the Covenant don't. Oh, hello! It's a Copus advanced scout. God, I do love the look of the UNSC vessels. I believe this here is probably the advanced, it's got what, the uh, reconnaissance suite in it. This might also be, I thought at first it was a fuel, it was a fuel pod to link into other ships, but I think actually it's another sensor. And the data will obviously get stored in here. But we can't have those flying about this place. Space, place, try and speak with words. Commissar, don't, you know, use non-words. Probably shouldn't have picked the CSO to go first. It's going to take forever. Um, Covenant don't have research, as you can see. I don't know if that was just a built-in thing, because the Covenant, law-wise, the Covenant don't really understand what they've got. They sort of just steal it and then use it. A bit like the Goa Walled, actually. They don't, they've never reversed engineered most of their technology. Unlike the UNSC with the Infinity. The Infinity is kind of a clear thing of that. 
Speaking of the Infinity, have you seen those new Halo 5 trailers, the Hunt the Truth ones? Not the one with the sniper round going through Chief's head, but the one where it's like the Chief and Locke trailers. Those are awesome. Um, I thought they were great. I can see what they're going with. Part of me really hates the idea of just portraying Chief, of just portraying Chief, not portraying, portraying Chief in any sort of negative light. I mean, the amount of crap it goes through in all of the Halo games, including Halo 4, which the owner seemingly doesn't really see, but the other ones, I think he, he's allowed to have a bit of leeway. You can sort of see it though in Halo 4, can't you? The whole, oh look, Chief's going insane. Especially with Cortana gone, ooh, that's ready. Right, now don't move, just stop. Thank you. They do really annoying things if you don't do that. Uh, what are those? Probably get two of those actually. Seraph scouts ready. This is like the the Covenant's main line superiority fighter in space. Going through here. Hold the power of the leech. The only annoying thing is that now that I've got two boxes, it's going to be almost impossible to try and select it from normal space. Got the Banshees. These are the ones I think you see in Reach. Um, for instance, their wings are actually. S I don't know if they actually like that in Halo, f in the Halo games, but um, oh, lovely. But their wings are swept forward instead of back, which I believe is the other way round for the atmospheric ones. Larger engines, obviously, to propel it in the void. Larger plasma cannons at the front to do more damage, I imagine. I haven't seen them use fuel, fuel, ugh, fuel rod guns yet, so we'll see. Then you've got the normal Seraphs. Let's see if I can find them. They come in squadrons of three, which may, leads me to believe they're probably not as good as the long swords. Might not be as expensive either, actually, which might be another balancing rod. Attack coordinates locked in. Go on then. Let's just see these guys wreck some shit, shall we? Ooh, is that clipping? Oh, maybe it's not. We'll take a look. Almost there. There you go, they're in visual range now. Oh, they're running. They might be faster. Group one report. I think they are. That's a bit annoying. Gonna leave me in a wild goose chase now. Right. CCS class. Your standard battle cruiser. You see these in the games quite a lot. Ironically, these things are huge and they're being used as escorts half the time for the uh, even bigger supercarriers. Torpedo frigates. You can see they have minimal pulse laser defenses. You can see them here, actually. And then the car class. Now, I haven't seen these. I might have seen the torpedo one, actually, but I haven't seen... Oh, my God. These guys are like fish swimming in a little shoal. Group one reporting. You guys go over there. You build a DDS, so we can see what it looks like, and then some CRSs. Now the CRSs, when you see them, are absolutely tiny, but they're actually cruisers, and for some reason they're smaller than the frigates. Uh, now, I don't quite remember full-on statistics with modern-day Navy things, but I'm pretty sure, you know, frigates and cruisers are either about the same. Cruisers are meant to be bigger than frigates, or at the very least more powerful. Of course, it could be like a... Ooh, here we go, the CAS class. These you definitely see in Halo. Which I think these are the main ones. These are just sort of, uh, I believe, just made for, um, you know, the game. Look at the power it packs. It's basically this, but with, you know, planet-busting weapons on it. DDS? 
carrier. Moving right along. I've definitely seen that shape before. They're all carriers. This is just a sole purpose in life, this carrier. So we're going to dock you up. Let's see, what, let's see how they do it, shall we? wonder which way they go in. You can see them stacking up, almost like you see in uh, airports like Heathrow or Gatwick, where you see the planes like in a line, getting ready to come on the... Uh, to arrive in the um, thingy mob bob. Can you actually catch up with it? I don't think you can catch up with it. <laughs> It's kind of funny if you can't. Here we go. Oh, they're going to this little slot here. It's kind of cool. Oh, good God! This is what happens when you don't concentrate. Attack vector laid in. Lock all weapons. DDS, run! Fire everything. What have we got? Some Parises. Some Orpheuses. Firing many, many miss. Oh, look at that. I love the UNSC bullets. It's amazing. This thing will be able to solo them all, I'm pretty sure. This looks amazing, all the rounds. Put this away so you can take a look. There goes one. Enemy contact. There Let's goes two. You can sort of hear the muffled noises of space as well, which we're going to assume that we have, let's say we're in a command center and we've got like built-in audio sensors because we wouldn't hear anything in space. But of course, you heard things in Halo, um, so, you know, oh, the DDS is almost gone. To be fair, for just a purely based carrier, that's depressing. From just a purely based carrier, it's a great little, um, gets the job done. Look, okay, here we go. Here are the C here are the CRSs. Look at the size of them. Tiny little things. Very powerful, though. Alright, what we're going to do is we're going to sort of finish this. We've got the ships we need, and we've just destroyed the enemy, essentially. So we're going to slip space straight in, or hyperspace, as it says here, but slip space straight in. To what I believe the enemy's base will be. Right in the middle. Let fly, gentlemen! Got an Orpheus. The Orpheus basically looks like two Parises stuck together. I think I've said this before. Whoa, you can see the Max going out. You can see the stream of plasma and the pulse lasers. I'm going to see if I can see the plasma torpedoes. Here we go. You see, they get fired out their banks, and then they, they sort of swirl around to wherever they're going. Where's this scaffold? Oh, this... Oh, sorry about that. The scaffold's coming out of Anchor 12. Didn't realise that. Attack run complete. Holding pattern locked. Paris class, desperately trying to escape. I think you only hear it when it comes closer to your vessels. Oh, look at that. Just look at the plasma rounds going in. It just destroys it instantly. It's kind of depressing, really. Of course, we've seen the UNSC wreck shop. So, oh, long swords. Yeah, well, like I said, we've seen the UNSC wreck shop before. So it is balanced, it's just the UNSC has to, you know, get its heavies out really. It has to, it has to be basically blob war, essentially. It's the Covenant bringing a blob, 
then the Unicy can't beat it. Unless the Unicy over there... Ooh, that's a bit of an FPS drop. Attacking capital ship. Engage capital ship. I'm just going to bring these in. This is a cakewalk. No I, problem. I know it's a cakewalk, thank you. Let's launch whatever fighters we had. Look at that. Plasma's going in. Attack coordinates locked in. Just a stream of plasma rounds. No heavy class cruisers. They're all um they're all um destroyers or frigates. But I've already shown you the destroyers and frigates from the UNSC perspective, so and you've seen how badly they perform, or how well, in some cases, they perform. Long swords desperately trying to do something. Bang. Whoa. It's not pretty, is it? Where's he going? Sort of doing a, a, a is it emollient roll? Almost? No, no, he's just turning upside down. God, look at the size of the cruisers compared to everything else. This one's firing backwards, which is cool. I believe that's probably it. Ooh, that's a nice explosion though. Group one reports victory. Oh. Well that was quick. <laughs> sorry. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Um I was sort of hoping there might be a bit more to that. Um it's a very short one, unfortunately. Well hopefully um I can event I will convince a friend or two to actually get the game and then download this mod so we can uh one v one it or two v two against another AI just to show you sort of uh what happens when you play against each other. I've shown you already the AI on hard is ridiculously insane, and that's quite good actually. The hard AI should be hard. So there we go. Um, that is the Covenant for the Homefront mod. This will be the last time we look at Homefront until something new, or maybe the remastered comes out. Um, or I just feel like a bit of Halo fun. So yeah, that's essentially it. Uh, Homefront, made by the same guys who did Sins of the Prophets. I'll link in their mod page in the description. And, uh,. See you next time, folks.